have some breaking news for you here. A fire, it looks like right on the roof of Trump Tower, right here in uh, New York City. Uh, of course, Trump Tower, where the um, president has kept a residence for many decades and still keeps a residence there. Uh, in fact, it looks like a number of firefighters up on the roof. At this point, we don't know the cause or just how serious this fire might be. Uh, yeah, and it looks like the firefighters are just sort of at this point not in a... You know, the, the, you can just see through the images there that they're, you know, we don't know what's going on inside, but it doesn't look to be urgent. In fact, the smoke mm -hmm. seems to be diminishing at this point. Um, this is located right uh, in the heart of Manhattan here in New York City on Fifth Avenue. Uh, and if you've ever uh, had the opportunity to visit that area, you'll notice that there are Secret Service and security and barricades because, as Emery points out, the president does keep a residence there in the penthouse. He's been there since since the building was essentially built. Um, members of his family live there. The Trump Organization is headquartered there. Uh, and so uh, lots of activity generally around the president and his family. For a while, even uh, Mrs. Trump, the first lady, uh, kept her residence there until she ultimately moved to the White House. Obviously, we know the president is at the White House this morning. Uh, so we're going to keep you updated on what we're seeing here, which is uh, what looks like a uh, fire um, at Trump Tower in Manhattan. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split and a cut, then I pass a lot to my bro, no fuck with my flow, couple bad bitches and a cup of that show, so it's just THC. BBN Jack Cross, what's up party people? As you have just seen uh, from the news telecast that a fire had broke out of one of the Trump Towers in New York City, I've personally been in that building, okay, personally. This is not a terrorist thing. I doubt so much that that building, the security is top notch, if to, to say the least. I've personally been in that building. I'm not sure if that's the Trump Tower that uh, Jeter lived in, but that might be the Trump Tower that Jeter lived in. It might be. I personally, I'm because I'm not 100% sure which one of the Trump Towers he lived in, but I've personally been in that building, and I'm letting you know right now the. It, the security is really, really good. Really, really good security. No, Nothing's coming in and out of that building without them knowing it. Anyway, the fire department of New York City says it's at the scene of a fire at the Trump Tower in Manhattan. The department also says it was called around 7 a.m. Monday for a report of the fire on the top floor. Aerial view, pardon me, aerial view sh showed firefighters on the roof with smoke billowing from its corners of the high rise. People posted video and images on social media showing smoke rising from the building. As you can see, that was smoke coming from the building. Like, this is... This is something. Like, you gotta, like... Buildings like that don't get just get caught on fire. So, uh, I don't know what to say. There's got to be something, probably a little bit something more behind this. I don't know. Maybe it was just uh, a maintenance issue. It could have just been a maintenance issue. The fire department said two people were injured. The firefighter, maintenance issue. The firefighter suffered, a firefighter suffered a minor injury when debris fell on him. The engineer was also injured but refused medical treatment. The building houses luxury apartments and businesses. The FDNY said the fire was under control shortly after 8. So there's been a fire at the Trump Towers, at one of the Trump's buildings. Um, I mean, not for nothing, but that particular, that particular view, that smoke could be from anywhere. Like, like to me, that doesn't look like that smoke is coming out of the building. You see, the building's all the way in the in the background. It's the last black building. You understand what I'm saying? Um, this fire looks like it's it's much further into the foreground. But you know, who am I? Let's look at one of the other pictures. Now that looks like it's coming from the building from the top, like we saw in the uh, the, the telecast. That one looks, I guess, also, but. You know, we got to be weary because uh, they, they, they're constantly putting stuff out in the news. We don't know how true it is. We don't know how fake it is. Um, there's a lot of fake news going on. Um, that didn't look like a, a bad fire. That looked more like something happened that it was a fire. Don't get me wrong. 
But, you know, if it, if it happened to a different building, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. That looks like something that if it happened in the hood, you know, not for nothing, but if it happened somewhere in the hood, it, the whole building might have fallen fire. Because the fire department wouldn't, probably wouldn't have got there in time to keep the fuck with you. But um, not the fire department's fault. You know, um, I have the total utmost respect for anybody who's ready to run into a blaze of fire. I'm not sure about uh, <laughs> how willing I would be to do that. If not, if I didn't have some real big stakes involved, you know, to just run in a fire randomly a strangers. I'm not, I'm not sure how willing I would be to do that. I'm keeping it a buck with you. You got a lot of people that just fake and be like, oh, man, I'll go do it. But then when it pops up, you know, uh, man, I got, I got, I got bronchitis or something. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so uh, if anything more pops up from the story, I'll keep y'all updated. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this. Like, do y'all think this is some real shit? Um, that doesn't. That looks more like a, a. First of all, the the smoke isn't black. It looks like white smoke. So it's, it's probably a chemical fire. It looks like chemical smoke or something. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave it in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. I love y'all. Keep each other safe. Keep your kids away from the stove. Let's not play with fire. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much. And enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.